It is Wednesday, June 16th, and we are here with Jed Strange. We're going to learn a little bit about his family history and also about Jed's special talents. He is a very talented person. So Jed, how or when did your family come to the Antelope Valley? They moved here. My father worked at Edwards Air Force Base, okay. and he was um, very critical in the Blackbird. He's, oh. Yeah, he started back in um, Burbank at the Skunk Works, and I think it was 55, 50 something. And, um, and then we moved to, from Van Nuys to Valencia when Valencia was uh, just a housing tract, not a um, not a town. <laughs> not a town. And and I lived in Old Newhall and grew up in there, and that was really it was a, a fun experience growing up down there where I could um, walk down the street with my shotgun to go shoot birds. <laughs> Without being a gangbanger, you know, it's just old times, but that's years ago, you know, and um, and then they moved up here when I graduated high school in 73, and I was going to California Institute of the Arts and College of the Canyons, so I didn't want to move up here because of the commute. None. So at 19, I bought my house in Bouquet Canyon, and anyway, it's all been it's it's been a fun ride, but uh, the, you know, there you go. And then trying to be an artist, I've worked through several studios: the Patty Freeling, Hanna Barbera, um, Disney, and. Um, Warner Brothers and I've done a lot of work for all of them and then I just kind of wanted to pioneer out and become um, just me you know and that's what I'm doing now right and yeah. <laughs> and you've done some awesome awesome work we need we're, we're gonna have some of it on video um, during this segment um, I remember your mom um, yes she was here, I remember her because she was a notary. She was one of the only notaries in the Yeah, the Rotary Notary. In the area, yeah, and she would, she would come to you. <laughs> yeah. As I remember, yeah. Um, so when did you actually then move here from Bouquet Canyon? Um, about 14, 15 years ago, I moved in here to take care of her. Okay, okay. And, um, it was an interesting thing is that the people told me she only had about two or three years to live. She lived 14. I was going to say, with your mom's attitude, she would say, <laughs> I'm going to show you all. <laughs> she what? I said, she, she, she would say, I'm going to show you all. And I'm yeah, gonna yeah, live. exactly. Right. And, and, and you know, you know what she always told me? And it got me through two broken necks and two broken, I'm breaking up right now, two broken feet, two broken necks. She says we're survivors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your mom is a special person. But as are you, your talent is, is amazing. So you said you worked for several studios. Yes. And when... Oh. When did you, Better. when did you, okay, so when exactly did you start on your own? Because I know you've done a lot of murals in the area, as well as these wonderful paintings oh, that you have. I, I probably, um, let me see, after my second broken neck. Okay, <laughs> okay. And after that, I just said, I'm done and all that but then the funny thing is is i still keep doing what i'm doing 
and because I love it. And yeah. it's my life. It's not really, it's not really for the money, because I don't make a lot. But I survive. But I made enough. I don't know, it was kind of cool is to, to paint the one in Mojave. That one in Mojave is amazing. And I broke both my feet. I remember, you fell off the, the scaffolding. <laughs> the, no, the scaffolding oh. fell off of me. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. No, it was, it was a matter of when we were rigging everything up, we didn't have the... Uh, Safety ropes, they were up on the roof and they were there to be attached, but we didn't have them on there. And I was climbing up the second rung and it just started falling down and I didn't know what to do. I figured, well, <laughs> I gotta bail out. All right. So, and, and the funny thing is I went, boom. On your feet. I dropped flat on both my feet and I never fell down. Yeah, you just broke. <laughs> broke. And, and I, I shattered both my this, my right ankle in six places, my left ankle in five places, and I couldn't move. And I had to help my my helper, Curtis, take take the scaffolding down, put me in the truck, take me to the hospital. Jeez. <laughs> oh, but it is an awesome, an awesome product that, that you managed to get well, done. Well, you, you know, uh, yeah, you know what, it's one of my um, biggest murals I've ever painted and, and one that's extremely detailed and it's, for me, it's just like that. Now I'm looking for... You know, I don't know. I'm I'm getting old. I'm looking for one more wall bigger. Bigger. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Bigger. I want a hundred or more foot wall. Well, you know, that's that's quite a project. Uh, I know you, you've also done a project out at the state park that's east of Lancaster Saddleback, and that's still in progress. So. Where it's it's good. It makes that ugly little building that they were using as a visitor center look like it's part of the landscape, which is exactly what you were intending. And I love we that. Have, we have pictures of that, and we took pictures of that so we can insert them into this video. I would love that because it's local and oriented. And Rosemond has been extremely good to me. Yeah, you have a great mural at the chamber. I have two murals at yeah. the chamber. I have one next door at Dr. Rich's office. He's no longer there. Um, I've done work for the Catholic Church across the street. I I paint all over um, pretty much every sign at Willow Springs is mine. Yes. And in fact, it's funny is. Um, Mr. Hooth gave me not not the old man who You're talking about Chris. Yeah. Yeah. Chris gave me a book. He goes, This should be just a, a book of strangest art. Oh. <laughs> Cause he gave me this book that somebody else did, but everything in there is yours. Isn't. And I've been painting and Chris has been really good to me for 14, 15 years when I first moved here. Okay. I just went there like, you know, with an open book and said, can you use me? And he said. And he did in hands. That's great. Well, you know, let's let's go ahead and and stop this this face-to-face -face interview and let's go and look at some of your artwork and we can talk about it. Sure. Yeah. Okay? Sure, whatever you want to do. I, I don't know how this works. This well, is, I don't need it. We're, we're, we're real novices at this. <laughs> and, okay, so what do you want to do now? Waiting for him. All right, Jed, this, this is a special painting for you, so tell me a little about this. It's what you would call a four pick. There's three other canvases that belong to this. 
and um, it was the first painting I painted after I broke my neck the first time. Oh, gee. <laughs> so, that is just amazing. I, was, I lived in Ocean Beach, California at the time, and this was kind of a view outside of my house. And um, I lived in a very beautiful area. In fact, you know, hold on one second. Second painting after I broke my neck. And this is looking out of my front yard down to the ocean. What an awesome view, though. And what a... Yeah, it, it was... Interesting, uh, interesting composition. Okay. Uh, Jed, this is an awesome painting. And I think your mom has something to do with this. Oh, yeah. So, she used to have in the front yard a ton of roses. Lots of roses. And she liked to grow them. So, so this was special. I, yeah. I painted two or three for her. This was for her, um, let me see. I think it was for her 84th birthday. Oh my goodness. And you know, she died when she was 94. Oh my goodness. Well, that's my goal. I'm going to try to make 94. <laughs> Um, the size of this, it, it's, it's phenomenal. Um, I just can't imagine getting this kind of detail. I like to paint it. big. That, that's a special skill. A special skill. Yeah, it's difficult, but it's easier for me in some ways to paint large yeah. than it is to, to paint, paint small. You know, it, it's simple to paint small. I can do that. But um, the grand gesture of painting big means a lot to me, and it's... It's why you're a good muralist. It's why you're an awesome muralist. Let's go on and take a look at the picture you painted of your mother, since we're looking at a painting you painted for your mother, so we're... Which other one do you want to see? That one right there. Have to move the puppy My dog. mother liked carousel horses, so I bought this for her. Swing that lamp around. Swing the lamp around. I'm not sure it'll swing. It'll swing. Okay. Like that? Okay. My mom never liked this painting. Oh, is that right? She thought she looked like a hooker. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> she just thought she looked like a hooker. I think it's a lovely picture. I think it yeah, captures her. Yeah, it's a great her. painting of my mom. Yeah, it captures 1940s. Her. It's really like wonderful. that. Yeah, yeah. She just, I mean, she loved it. She liked that it was here, but at the same time, she, she goes, I look like a hooker. <laughs> oh dear. This one is special. You said you painted it. It was like. Someone down below wanted this? In Malibu. In Malibu. It was for, it, it says it right down on the corner. I can't remember who it was, but it was supposed to be in their um, master bathroom or bedroom or somewhere. I don't even recall anymore. But um, that that's of a photograph I took down in a place in Cabo or down in Ensenada called um, La Bufadora. It's interesting because it has a lot of detail. It's not the big massive. It's, so this is this shows that you are very versatile. Yeah. La Bufadora is the blowhole down probably about 14 miles. I used to live in Ensenada. In Ensenada, okay. Okay, talk. Where what? Where was this taken? This was a little boy being frightened by um, gunshots. This was in El Salvador. And he was hugging on to his dad's yeah. legs. Yeah. Okay. Good. Okay. Um, this is obviously one of your paintings in progress, and we're here in your workshop. So tell us a little about what this is going to be or where it's going to be. This is going to um, Guido's Restaurant, which is an aviation kind of oriented restaurant. I've done a number of paintings for them. And I've got three more of these to do. Um, I'm just in the middle of 
trying to get this one done. It's not a big painting. It's only four foot by four feet, as you can see. And um, this is an E-2 U.S. Air Force attack plane. Mm, okay. And then this over here is this with the the I, magnolias just, or water lilies or magnolias? yeah they're water lilies water and lilies. I, I'm just um that's just something I'm doing on my own. Well, that's it's neat. Just okay. you know, it, sometimes it frees me from doing this stuff. It gives you this a break. is work, and that's fun. But that's a great a great break. Okay, yeah. let's go around and look at the other side because there's some awesome things on the other side. Yeah, this is a big side. easel I have here. Okay. okay. This is a tropical gold mine. This is part of the mural I painted on the um, Chamber of Commerce building in uh, Roseman. It's just one section of it. And um, it's just miners hanging out. Enjoying the day off. Okay. Okay, this is one of the paintings that you have at Guido's, a local restaurant here in Roseman. Can you talk about this, Jed, a little bit? Well, yeah, I can. I don't know the two gentlemen on the right, but the one on the left was um, my father. And this was on the aircraft carrier Enterprise. And that's pretty much all I know about it. I, I just don't know all that. They were just, it's from an old photograph that I found in my archives. But it goes with the themes that, that they now have here at Guido's. Yeah. Okay, let's move on. Okay, we can go over here. Okay, here is a painting that Jed has done. Also, we're in, still in Guido's. And Jed, this is... Poncho Barnes. Poncho Bar is very famous um, aviatrix back in the old days. Um, she was quite a... Um, uh, quite a character. Yeah, quite a character. <laughs> That's bad. She, she had the Happy Bottom Riding Club out here in Mojave. And um, yeah, she was a character. But, you know, she, is, she was just full of vim and vigor. Yep. Okay, Jed, you have done this for the chamber, and it has a lot of local history in it. Uh, I think you even have your mom in this one, hidden down there by the Rosamond Depot. And I know you've got some of this from pictures that the Historical Society had, so you want to talk to us a little about this? The, um, basically, the, the, this mural was designed to go from uh, Willow Springs, the town, to Willow Springs, the raceway, to the feline compound, tropical mining, and the Roseman um, Railroad Station, where that's my mom in the foreground. Nobody knows that, but now everybody does. And, and then the green pastures is or the agricultural system that we had going on here, alfalfa fields, sugar beets, and and all that. And then the very end of it goes to, um, which would be... Uh, it's the dry lake bed. They used yeah, to go... Yeah, the dry Mojave dry lake bed. Which near is, off, yeah. And that's what they did that. And then all the aircraft above here just go from the U-2 to the P-38 to the Mustang to the shuttle to the F-18s and to the um the whatever that sky plane is named I can't remember right at the moment. Okay. All right, Jed. Now this mural has a little bit of a different layout. Yeah, th this one is just, I wanted to put the B-52 up here on um, Bomber because that's kind of what was going on at the time. This is a couple years old. It's not finished yet. There's a lot of, I have to continue the wall down here. But all in all, it's just a basically the, just the desert scene of our um, local flora and fauna. And it just needs to be finished. 
but, you know, I got more work under my arms than I know what to do with. Well, that's good. Okay, this is a photograph of uh, Bill Booth, the owner and uh, builder of this racetrack he bought many, many years ago. It's like 360 acres of uh, racetrack. This is his dream. And uh, so to commemorate what's going on with Bill, I use that photograph to incorporate in the mural that's over here behind us. Um, and it's just, you know, he was an innovator, you know, just, you know, he was just a, I don't know, just a great guy all the way around. I love talking with him. And I used to go up to his apartment and talk with him all the time. Um, he's just, just a great man like that and really built an empire out here. Jed, we are here in the cafe in Willow Springs. And this is the mural that you have produced for the wall of the cafe based on the whole history of this complex. So can you start and tell us a little bit about your mural? Um, basically, I started with Bill as a centerpiece and designed everything around that to, you know, to incorporate parts of the track. If we if you look over to the left here, where we're panning, those are actual cars that were on the track at one time. Those two were taken from the photograph. And then this Joshua tree, which later we'll see when we get around the track, actually is on the property here. And um, I just tried to do Bill justice, but you know, I can only do as much as I can. But um, it, it turned out pretty good, uh, I like it. And it's very difficult because I painted in black and white, and that's harder to do than painting in color. Color is easy because you can hide your mistakes, but when you're painting in black and white, it's very difficult to, um, you know, it's just, it's much more difficult like that. And these are bikers that used to be, I, I don't know, they still have bike races out here, but um, these two are also from photographs that were taken out here going around the track. I just tried to incorporate the mountains and the checkered flags just to become, you know, more like a raceway looking mural. This mural is, um, let me see, I think it's like 7 feet by 27 feet. Jed, you said this was the first? Yes, I painted some signage on there too at the time, but this is the first job I ever did out here. Like I said, that was maybe 15 years ago. Here we are at Willow Springs, and this is the Budweiser balcony, and you're responsible for the painting on this building, as well as for a um, painting that we're going to see just briefly in a few minutes, which is the only place on Willow Springs where there are not race cars. This is just right down from the Budweiser building that we've just seen. This is Saddleback Butte State Park, and this is also one of your murals. So, Jed, can you tell us a little bit about this? Well, my idea was to put this kind of make it look stealth-like, so it just filled in the um, the area. So it blended in with the landscape. That's what I was trying to do. Because it was truly an ugly little building, and now you certainly have captured the landscape. You're going to see in just a second, I believe, if you stand in a certain spot, you it blends into the landscape beautifully. This next building is in Roseman, and it was at the time you painted the mural, the office of a veterinarian. It's no longer occupied by the veterinarian, but Jed, can you talk a little bit about this painting? Yeah, Dr. Rich wanted me to um, just put animals in here, like the ferrets marshalling, and the soldiers hoisting the flag, and then there's a dog flying and a cat flying in this, um, F-22s, and then, of course, a bird. Yeah, I think you said the hardest thing on this was 
trying to get the helmet. The helmet was more difficult than anything. <laughs> All right. This is in Rosemond, or I mean in a Mojave. This is uh, the air races that used to be held in Mojave all the time, the 26 um, mule team, the uh, Starliner air, or um, all uh, the various forms of transportation. Yeah, it's way. all transportation related. And, and this is on the side of the building, the, the bank building, correct? Yeah, it's 36 feet long, and uh, no, 38 feet long, and 16 feet tall. Well, Jed, we really, really appreciate you taking the time to share your time with us.